Hello and welcome to Holy Trinity Aylesbury Online. My name is Charles Trefusis and this is the first of our Holy Week Reflections, today Monday the 6th of April. Linking with yesterday's Youth Challenge, in our service they were encouraging us to focus today on Jesus clearing the temple, we're going to be thinking about that passage. Before we go any further, I'm going to ask Suzanne Chapman whether she'll read us some verses from the Bible. Our reading is from John 2, verse 12 to 25. After this, he went to Capernaum with his mother and brothers and his disciples. There they stayed for a few days. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts, he found people selling cattle, sheep and doves, and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords, and drove them all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, Get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it is written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then responded to him, what shirt sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all of this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple and you are going to raise it in three days? But the temple he had spoken of was his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. Now while he was in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. Thank you, Suzanne. As we look at these verses, we need to understand and remember the context. The law of Moses required every adult male to make three sacrifices every year for their sins. In order to do this, they went along to the temple where they were ripped off. First of all, they were ripped off because they had to buy an animal for the sacrifice. But in order to buy that animal, they were secondly ripped off by the money changers. They couldn't just use ordinary money, they had to use temple money, which they had to first exchange. Just imagine the scene. Cows mooing, sheep and goats bleating, the money changers and the animal sellers talking about their latest deals. This was no place for worship and for prayer. That was why Jesus was angry. And so this Holy Week, let me share three thoughts and reflections coming out from this. First of all, repentance. Jesus cleared the temple. Jesus was angry in verses 15 to 16 because of the hypocrisy of the temple officials, the misuse and the abuse of the temple. He said in verses 19 to 20, he was going to destroy and rebuild the temple in three days looking forward to his death and resurrection, what we're going to be remembering at the end of this week. But what hope, forgiveness and grace we have, even at a time like this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we're told that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, the presence of God. What areas of our life need to be cleared out? If you think of your spiritual life as being like the rooms of a house, which areas need to be particularly cleared out at this time? Is it the living areas and where we spend time with people and in relationships with people? Is it the working areas? Is it the cupboards where we hide things away? Or is it perhaps the areas where we spend time in recreation and relaxation? What areas of our lives need to be cleared out? 
So first of all, repentance. Secondly, restoration. The temple was being abused and misused. In Mark's version of this, Mark chapter 11, verse 17, Jesus says, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you've made it a den of robbers. A house of prayer, not a marketplace. The coronavirus has challenged us all, I'm sure, in our prayer. But the question is, even though we may not find it easy, will we start to drift and perhaps drift away from our reliance upon prayer when things become easier? Do I and am I relying on God in and through prayer? Use this as a time for your prayer life to be restored and bring before God each and every area of your life and all the concerns that you might have. So we have repentance, restoration, and finally, refocus, the refocus of our lives. Jesus was refocusing the temple back to God. The days we're living in currently are nothing short of unusual. The question perhaps we should each be asking is, Father, what do you want me to be when we come out of this present season? At the end of this pandemic, what do you want me to be? How do you want me to be different? Use it this week as a time to refocus and recommit your life to following and knowing more of Jesus. So this Holy Week, as we start today on Monday, think about repentance, areas of your spiritual life which need to be cleared out, how your prayer life can be restored, and also how we can refocus our lives in and for Jesus. Have a great day. God bless you.